Okay, let's talk about this concept of conjugate acid and conjugate base that appears in this notes. And it appears in various places. And here's an example right there. We have acid base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. And what typically happens is there's many times people are not sure, like, what is the difference between acid and conjugate acid or between a base and a conjugate base? How does an acid turn into a conjugate base, etc.? And so in order to get at that, probably the best place to begin is to go back and understand what is an acid and what is a base. And so in order to get at that, we have to look at two different understandings of what acids and bases are. And even a bare picture, they're opposites of each other, typically. And now what we're looking at here is the idea that, okay, the Arrhenius model says, they point out, look, acids release hydrogen ion when they dissolve, when they dissolve in water. Because they dissolve, they dissociate, they release hydrogen ions. Bases release hydroxide ions, which is fine, but there's certain basic chemicals that are the opposite of acids but don't have hydroxide, such as ammonia right here. And so the Bronsted-Lowry um, acid base model builds that by saying, okay, an acid is a proton donor, which you can see that like here, it's donating a proton because it gives away proton. Donor means to give away, so it gives protons. And bases accept protons. So wait, how can this be? Well, if you put an acid and base together like hydroxide, will react with hydrogen, it will take this hydrogen, which means it will accept the hydrogen, and a proton is a hydrogen ion. A proton is another, because hydrogen ion is just one atom with one proton and one electron. So if you take away from hydrogen that one electron, all that's left is the proton. So this proton right here will be accepted by a base in solution. So they say, fine, a base is a proton acceptor, an acid is a proton donor. So the idea is that this would, is an acid because it gives away a proton, it gives this hydrogen away, turns into this, so in order to turn to this, it has to give away a hydrogen. That's what makes it an acid. It's because in order to go from this to this, it must lose a hydrogen ion. That's why it's an acid. A base, must gain a hydrogen ion, and indeed this turns into this by gaining a hydrogen ion, which makes it a base. So that explains these things. So why are these called conjugate acid, conjugate base? So first of all, conjugate means it's the product of a reaction. So it exists on the product side. There we go, you put it like that. Um, so if it exists on the product side, we call it conjugate. Now, why is it? Why does a base turn into conjugate acid? Why does an acid turn into conjugate base? Because it's an easy enough power to memorize, but why? Well, we're going to use the same justifications as these over here. Maybe you'll even do it a different color to make it stand out a little bit better. A conjugate acid, this, can t going the other way in the reaction, could turn it into this. And the only way it does that is by losing a hydrogen ion. The only way this can turn to this is by losing a hydrogen, right? You have to lose a hydrogen to turn from H3 to H2. Well, that's what acids do. That's why it's called conjugate acid. Conjugate because it's in the products, acid because it loses a hydrogen ion when it becomes its counterpart on the other side of the equation. And the same thing can apply to, and I'll use a different color to emphasize the difference, conjugate base right here. This can turn back into this because this is not a one-way reaction. It goes in both directions product can turn back into reactant again. So for this to turn into this, it must gain a hydrogen ion, which means gain a proton. And since this is a proton, if it gains a proton, we say it accepts a proton. And anything that accepts a proton, let's see right here, bases are proton acceptors, it's a base. So I'll put base right there. This is a base that accepts a proton. This is a base because we're going in this direction, it's accepting a proton. This is an acid because we're going in this direction, it is losing a hydrogen or losing a proton. This is an acid because we're going in this direction, it's losing a proton. So that's what makes an acid an acid or a base a base. It's just we add conjugate acid to something that's in the products or conjugate to the word in base, or conjugate to base because it's in the products. But it, it really, when it goes to whatever form it is on the other side of the equation, whether it gains or loses the hydrogen, that determines whether we call it a acid or a base. So then um, 
that would be the justification. Yes, it is simple enough to understand that, oh, assets turn to country basis, basis turn to country assets, but this is the reason why. Especially because it's easy to forget this or get confused on a test or something when you're trying to memorize a whole bunch of things. Understanding the underlying reasons why losing acid makes it an losing hydrogen makes it an acid, gaining hydrogen makes it a base, will help you explain any situation no matter what you come across. So that would be something where if this makes sense, then you can make sense out of any question involving conjugate acids or conjugate bases.